State of the Altcoin Market Meme Season. I'm the Altcoin Analyst, Nothing Here is Financial Advice. Let's dive in. On the chart, we have Doge. Now, the thing I want to point out about Doge is that it's actually the only token from cycle to cycle that has, in fact, put in a higher high. Very interesting, right? Not many have done that. We've seen some from this cycle to this cycle that have put in a higher high, like Link, Cardano, Maker. But even that's a very rare feat. Dogecoin has been the one that's put in a new high each cycle it's been around. The only other token that's done that is Bitcoin. We'll come back to Doge in a sec, but let's look at Shiba. If we see right here, this chart is pretty much straight up. It went from a, we can measure from the low of February to a high of 428% in two weeks. Pepe is very impressive. We can see that Pepe has grown. We'll measure again from the February low to the high of about a thousand percent in two weeks. Well, technically four weeks. Bonk with all similar things. I do not condone buying meme coins simply because I do not know how to quantify them. I do not know how to value them. In short, correct me if I'm wrong, but a meme coin is going to take off based on three things. Meme ability, community, and culture fit. Now, I do not know how to quantify that into a model, and therefore, I do not buy meme coins. However, they are very interesting to watch because you never know which is going to take off and which one's not. For those of you that want to go ape into the meme coins, let me remind you of something. This is a tweet from Coin Mamba. You know, I support people buying meme coins for big returns, as do I. But buy them at 10 mil or 50 mil market cap, not at 3 billion to be someone else's exit liquidity. This is so true. These meme coins now have billions of dollars of market cap. So there are some people out there that have very big bags and honestly could potentially be selling and I think should be selling. If you're buying a meme coin that has a multi-billion dollar market cap, at least understand that you're exit liquidity. I understand the fun, I understand the meme, being part of the community, but if you want to be those things, also accept you are exit liquidity if you're buying a multi-billion dollar meme coin right now. I highly recommend going to follow Coin Mama. There's very few people who are actually good to follow on Twitter. He is one of them. Altcoin Daily. I don't necessarily agree with everything they put out, but this is very true as well. You hear about the guy who put $500 into a meme coin and made 100000 but you don't hear about the hundreds who put a thousand in and are left with 10 cents. This is very true. From my experience going back to 2020, this feels like DeFi season. DeFi season was in this area right here. Pretty much started in May, end of May to June. And it lasted pretty much until August, middle of August. And then in this area right here, most of those DeFi projects that went up 10x, 20x, 30x, 40x took a very vicious haircut. That was very short-lived as some of them went to go and pump a lot harder. My point is, if you have made your salary in the past week or two or past month or two investing in meme coins, it would behoove you to take some off the table. Next year, we'll probably look back on this time and this will be considered meme season, meme season and AI season, because not much else is really moving. If we look at a project like Polkadot, good project, we can look at the max, we can see that it's pretty much up maybe a little over 2x. We look at Adam and again, Adam isn't even really might be up at 2x. And so really the only thing putting in exponential gains are meme coins and AI coins. And if you've caught it, excellent. I like to hear people making money, but don't be greedy. Take profits. DeFi summer was insane. And so this time right now is eerily similar to DeFi summer back in 2020. Everything in DeFi went multiples higher in a very short amount of time, only to crash back down in this little pullback right here. So I know it might seem that things only go up, but guys, just be careful out there. Going back to Doge, we've had quite the pump here. Now, if we look at previous cycles, we can see that we've had several pumps of that magnitude across this area. So we had one right here. It was followed by a steep pullback. 
We had one right here. It was again followed by a steep pullback. However, this was the black swan event. Again, we had another one right here followed by a little pullback. And then we had another bump up followed by again a bigger pullback. My point in noticing that is we did have this run right here. What is this? This is alt season. That is alt season. Let's look at the Bitcoin dominance to understand when alt season is because this is May of 2021. So if you go to the Bitcoin dominance, May of 2021 was down here in this area. That was alt season. What happened before alt season? Well, we peaked out before the halving. We peaked out again after the halving, and then we went straight off a cliff. Some of you guys might be thinking we've peaked and we're going straight off a cliff. Now, I don't take that same opinion, and here's why. If we overlay the Bitcoin chart here, We'll keep it on linear because I think it highlights my point a little bit better. What was Bitcoin doing in this move right here? I think it's pretty clear there's two alt seasons on the chart and there's one right here. And again, there's one right here. And so in both of those moves, what was Bitcoin doing? Bitcoin was going parabolic at the same time the Bitcoin dominance was dropping. We can see it again. Bitcoin decided to go parabolic at the same time that, and we can mark it right here, and this was kind of the midpoint, at the same time the Bitcoin dominance was going down. What is Bitcoin doing right now? It's going parabolic. We can see that it's going parabolic. What is the Bitcoin dominance doing? It's stuck in accumulation. This looks eerily similar to what happened over here. Started going up and we were stuck in accumulation. As much as I want to believe that we're going to fall off a cliff and that alt season is coming around the corner, my strategy doesn't signal that. Could my strategy or my model be wrong? A hundred percent. But it hasn't showed me in the charts that it's wrong yet. That doesn't mean it still can't be wrong. It's just my strategy hasn't flashed yet. Now, I know some of you very much disagree and you think that I'm doing a disservice to the people following me, and that's totally understandable. There has been some AI coins and some meme coins that have gone absolutely ballistic. If you have caught those, I like to hear people making money because making money in crypto is very difficult to do. Very difficult. Now, stay with me. What happens? What happens if the Bitcoin dominance breaks up from here? Similar to what it did last time, it, Bitcoin dominance broke up. And the Bitcoin dominance topped out when Bitcoin was in a down trend. Now, I know what people are going to say. This time is different because of the ETF. Now, again, I'll caveat that with those ETF buyers are going to be ETF sellers during a recession. Those hedge funds don't diamond hand. They have either a 1% or a 10% allocation to Bitcoin. And when that allocation grows, they sell and rebalance their portfolio. So... Those institutions buying Bitcoin are probably going to be the biggest sellers tomorrow. Now, not physically tomorrow because today is Sunday, but when they need to balance their portfolio in the near term, because they operate per quarter basis. Most funds that are buying the Bitcoin ETF operate on a quarterly basis. They need to show good returns and good money management each quarter. I'm totally open to being wrong. If the Bitcoin dominance breaks down and starts in a downtrend, I would be more open to the idea that alt season is around the corner and we're going to fall off a cliff. But until that happens, until the Bitcoin dominance is in a down trend, I am not comfortable getting positions in altcoins because I'm telling you right now, if Bitcoin dominance breaks up and you're holding altcoins, that's going to hurt. It's a good chance that most altcoins could potentially put in new lows. I think the exception here to this rule are the few tokens that actually went to go put in a new all-time high this year. Those tokens would be Render or FET, maybe some of the meme coins. Now, I very much don't think Doge is going to go put in a new all-time low. There are going to be tokens that don't have very much liquidity if we go into a cool-off period with Bitcoin going into a three, four, five-month downtrend. Some of these altcoins are going to actually hurt. I very much think that there's a very high probability that Doge is going to go and put in a new all-time high. I think Doge will probably hit a dollar this cycle. It's not going to be straight up. I think it could potentially come back down. I think it would, at the very least, tag these lows right here at $0.05 cents 
And if you think that's crazy or if you think that's impossible, I'm telling you, this is crypto. You pay for the upside volatility, but you also get the downside volatility as well. And so that's what you have to be careful of. Because if we come back down, we could potentially chop and then go up. Now, if we follow the four-year cycle, that's 2025 Q4. I think it's potentially possible that we take a little bit longer, that we play out probably early 2026. If we don't peak in 2025, I think we could potentially peak in 2026. If we have a left translated cycle and Doge completely goes like this, then we're probably going into a two-year bear market pretty quickly right after. With that being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.